I'd say that was definitely the best night of my rugby career so far. Uh, just great experience. I was never played in front of I don't know thirteen thousand people out there tonight. So uh, yeah, it's a bit of a change from playing at Dungannon on a Saturday morning. What about that moment whenever they nodded across to you to take the tracks it on? I was I was just happy to get on. I was because I was afraid I wasn't going to get on tonight or something. So I was happy to be on uh, a lot longer than I thought I was going to be on for anyway. And uh, you know you had some good people outside you. You know. British and Irish Lions winger, you know, to, yes. you know, to too long, and Dan yeah. Cave, obviously, 100, what, 130, 140 odd caps for Ulster. So yeah, you the experience there to, to sort of guide you through it almost. Cave and Paddy really helps it. It uh, just kept me right with everything. I, I knew uh, well, I've been in the city, I've been there long enough to know most of the stuff, but Cave just keeps you keeps you right, so he does. And you know, in terms of you know being part of a, a winning performance a bonus point you know first half obviously mm. that I mean in terms of debuts that's just perfect really yeah uh, I think the only thing better if we got to try but uh, I'll, hopefully I'll come another week and you've had to watch you know obviously your Dungannon club made people like Farrell mm-hmm. Chris Farrell and you know have come through and other people have come through the academy like Stuart Olding in yeah. recent years you know is it just been a case for you of you know I'm going to keep working hard and someday I'll get that chance uh, yeah just keep on early mornings in the academy going to the gym just keep on keeping your head down try to put in performances just doing what I do not trying to do anything different really uh, Stu and Faz are both in the same year school as me so it's Bit of competition there, but it's friendly. It's so friendly, so it is. We're all good friends, and they can't ever give you any stick now because you're now. No, at least I got a, I got a cap now as well. But uh, yeah, we're all. I think they'd be happy. They'd be happy to see me out there as much as I'd be happy to see him out there. Absolutely. And what about Alan Clark? You know, people like that in the academy. Have they kept encouraging you and you kept saying, you know, that maybe when you think maybe I'll, I'll never make this, you know, to keep you go, keep going. Clark has always been a great influence. So he has just tell me to play my own game, not try to do anything that. It's not what I do. I'm not, I'm not a I'm more of a big twelve, so I'm. Then I'd say that. Uh, just keep on carrying hard and doing up their defence hard, and that's what I do really. And then uh, you've got the first appearance, the first cap under your belt. I imagine you want a lot more now. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I would say hope to get a lot more, but uh, just taking, I mean, step by step. Hopefully, you get the next one. Maybe a few weeks. Hopefully, be considered for that, and to see how it goes from there.